there's one other little note I want to say about numbers, about integers. In this case, it's the prime numbers. And this is something that the SAT really likes to test because it's a little factoid that you can memorize. And if you know it, they can ding you. If you don't, I mean, if you, if you know it, you'll get it right. If you don't know it, they can ding you. And this is something they really like. So let's make sure we know what the prime numbers are and how to find them. So what is a prime number first? A prime number, prime number, it's first, it's greater than 1. So 1 is not prime. 1 not prime. Important to remember that. So it's a prime number is greater than one. It's a number greater than one that has factors of one and itself only. So its only factors are one and itself. So what would this include? The first prime is two. Now this is the one that they're the really tricky one. This is the thing that they're hoping you'll forget. Two is a prime. It's the only even prime, right? Because 4 and 6 and 8, those can all be divided by 2 at the very least. So there's no way those are going to be prime. So 2 is the only even prime, and it's the first prime. And if they have you, if it's a problem where you have to count the number of primes or something, they're counting on you, so to speak, to uh, forget 2. So what else? 3 would be 1, 5, 7, right? All these can only, so 5 can only be divided equally by itself, and 1. So 5 and 1 can only go into 5, leaving no remainder. 7, uh, how about 9? Well, no, on first glance, you might think 9 because, oh, well, it's odd, just like 3, 5, and 7. But 9 can be divided by 1, it can be divided by 9, and it can be divided by 3. So that's not going to be prime. But we'd also have 11, we'd have 13, we'd have 17, 19, and so on, right? There's an infinite number of primes, just as there's an infinite number of numbers. OK, so. Uh, that is the prime numbers. Where will this come into play? I mean, it'll come into play at a lot of places. One example this is something I mentioned in the factor video, is you can find the prime factors of a particular number. So let's take, uh, let me try to think of a good one, 62. Actually, 63. So what are the prime factors for 63? Well, what you do for this is you make your little factor tree and you say, okay, uh, what's a number that can go into 63? Uh, well, how about 9 and 7, right? Well, 7 is already prime, but 9 we can break into 3 and 3, right? So there we go. So our prime factors would be 9 or 3, 3, and 7. So the prime factors of 63 would be 3 and 7, such that 3 times 3 times 7 equals 63. And that's pretty much all there is to it for the primes. Just remember that 2 is prime, and you'll be fine.